Welcome to all the E-Type Jaguar enthusiasts and uh, E-Type club members. Okay, now well, I've managed to get the block uh, stripped down. I've managed to get two of the pistons out. They were almost on TDC, so they were fairly easy. What I've done now is I've actually put some um, fluid in there now to try and see if they've got run down past the skirts. They seem to be quite badly rusted, There's, or the, the rings are very good because the fluid's not dropping down much. It's gone down a little bit. I'll give it like 24 or 48 hours and then what I'll do is try and knock the pistons down the way because they're further down the bore. Um, the crankshaft is absolutely re really, really good. The, 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 the journals, the main journals, um, everything looks really, really good on it. And uh, that's quite an expensive item, I think, to have them re-cranked, re Machined is for about three hundred pounds. I think to buy new, you're looking at six or seven hundred pounds. So, all in all, for three hundred quid, it was a pretty good buy. So the head I can use to four point two. I uh, can use on the E-type as a spare. The crank I can use. Uh, the main block. And um, just one thing to be careful of: this this rear seal, which is a half seal, and this is the the top part of it. And these <laughs> these little uh, Allen screws are really difficult to see when they're all gunged up but that's something to be aware of when you're trying to get them apart um, and everything is the same the, the, as I say the block the crank and the head is all re reusable and if you look at the pistons here these are the two I got out these are the pistons from the Mark 10 and you can see that this is a 8 to 1 compression ratio and this is the original uh, E-type which is 9 9 to 1 compression ratio and you can see the differences in the dome that's giving it that higher compression it's a pretty good shot there of, of the difference and this piston is out of this uh, engine originally obviously they're brand new pistons and the, the engine's been completely rebuilt the only thing that's original is the block uh, the head but everything else has been changed on it. Con rods are the same in the crank, but it's all been reground and different size shells in it. So, yeah, so they're worth getting these these old engines. Um, you know, the 4.2. It's the only difference, as I say, is the, is the pistons, and you would be changing them anyway because they do get scored on the skirts. You can see that original one there's got quite a scoring on it. Not a, not a cheap item, though, I have to say. But anyway, so. I hope you've uh, got something from that. They, they, you can use the Mark 10 stuff, but unfortunately the, the carburetors and the, and the inlet manifold are, are, are no use to you at all. But uh, the other parts you can use, and they're only going up in price, so maybe grab an old one and do keep it. Thanks for watching in. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, looking on Dave Jaguar 66 for more updates when I... Uh, start putting the jag back together. Bye for now.